Hello everyone, I'm Dr. Lim. In order to crush MPTE, CTSIB is one of the key topics that you must understand. Check the question first. I will give you 50 seconds to answer these questions. All right, CTSIB is one of the tests for balance, right? It's, it is a clinical test for balance. If you are a physical therapist, how you test the patient's balance? How you test? Think about it, how you test the patient's balance. Okay, there are three sensory to make a right balance. It is a vision and vestibular and somatosensories, right? There is three sensories to make a right balance. Visions for eyes, right? When you look at something through your eyes and you can make a balance, right? That's the easy one. And what about the vestibulars? Vestibulars. Vestibulars for head movement. Inside of the ears, there is vestibular canals, right? And uh, when, when your head moving forward, your vestibular also uh, can sense, can sense of your head positioning. Like this way, and this way, and this way. All right? So vestibular can make your balance, and, and especially uh, in CTSIB, um, on the form, right? On the form, on the form, uh, you're gonna stand on the form, right? Then uh, maybe, maybe uh, you can lose your balance because of there's their cushioning and some for postural sway like this and then what what about what do you think about your head your head also can be moved with with your with your body right okay third there's somatosensories what about somatosensory? Somatosensory is the sense of body. It contains a mechanical sensory. Especially, uh, I can say for balance is proprioceptors on feet. All right. So there is three sense for make the balance. And uh, this is CTSIB, right? Everyone knows CTSIB. But we're we're kind of confused when you when we uh when we answer the questions. There is six test options, six test conditions, right? What about the vision? Vision. If you uh if you think the patients patients need patients may have vision problems. And, and he loses his balance. How are you gonna check using this? How are you gonna check? Just think about yourself. How are you gonna check? Yes, for um, eyes open or eyes closed can make them, right? If eyes open, this is for number one, right? The condition number one eyes open right and also condition number four eyes open right and what about other things two three and five six maybe visions blocked or visions half blocks right so if two three and five six having problems There have vision problems, right? If patients have problem with vision, 
number two, three, and five, six have so many problems because patients cannot see, right? And uh, cannot make the balance, make the right balance because of have vision problems. And uh, what about vestibulars? If the patient's having hard to make a balance because of vestibular, option number five and six will make him hard to balance. Why option five and six? Why option five and six? Because option five, there is foam, right? And also option six, there is foam on his feet, right? So, somatosensory, loss of somatosensory. And also, number five, close his eyes, loss of eyes. And number six, loss of eyes, right? Because they they're have disrupted, disrupted visions. So, loss of somatosensory and loss of vision. What else left? Vestibular left, right? So if if he cannot do uh, do do he cannot make the balance using option five and six, maybe they're having vestibular problems, right? Especially five and six. And move on. Somatosensory problem. What about somatosensory problems? It's easy, right? The form. Only for proprioceptors. You can check uh, number four and number five and six. If patients having hard to make the balance using number four and five and six because of proprioceptor on feet, right? It may have problems with uh, uh, somatosensories, right? And uh, what about sensory selections? Sensory selection. Sensory selection is highly dependent on visual or somatosensory information to control balance. To make the balance, option four, no, no, option three and four and five and six, it highly need other sensory. Option three and four and five and six, right? It highly need other sensory like compensatory, right? So it can call the sensory selections three, four, five, six. That is all the all the important information about CTSIB. So, vision problems and somatosensory problems and vestibular problems and sensory selection problems. You should distinguish these all four different uh, problems. Alright? So, the answer is A, right? Type 2 diabetes and cataracts have vision problems, right? Type 2 diabetes and uh, Cataracts having vision problems. Patients may have blurred vision, right? So the answer is A. Thank you for watching this video today. Thank you.